All right, let's talk about McCord lubricators. I'm working on the Franklin project some more. I uh, went to a friend's house, was looking for a lubricator, and he gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So, pretty much they were all very rough. And I decided to use this one because it has the sight glasses on the side here and they're in good shape. So basically I have four of this style. I'm taking parts off of pretty much all of them to make one good one. And I figured before I put the last plunger assembly back in, I'd show you guys what they're all about. This one here has got good sight glasses, cleaned out the inside. I had to take this top piece off of a different lubricator to put on this one because it has a good spring loaded lid on it. Basically took the plungers all apart, cleaned them all up. There is check balls galore in these things. There's one in here. Um, this is some kind of pressure, not sure what that's called. I couldn't get it apart because the nut on it is so small. Um, there's check ball in here, there's another one down here, there's another one down here in this suction screen part. So anyway, there's a cam inside these and this thing runs up and down. And there's a T-bolt that goes across. This is the suction plunger goes in and out and this is the pressure plunger goes in and out and they all squirt and do what they're supposed to do I'm still cleaning and uh, getting stuff ready but this lubricator here I made new shafts for it because the old ones were beyond wore out you can see the grooves in them where the packing seals ride so that's that story I'll give you a little look inside this other one I got it apart there is some spring-loaded teeth in here and as this thing ratchets back and forth these little cam lobes spin So if you ever want to take one of these apart, there's really nothing to them. I haven't put no parts into it yet. Just elbow grease cleaning. And this one will pump oil. I'll give it a little shroud of oil and it pumps pretty good. But anyway, I'll show you how to get these out of here. It's got these cross braces that go on. These T's. All that stuff has to come off. And then... Here's the yoke. This goes up and down on these little cam lobes down in there. So you put that in there. Stand that up. And then you take this part. Line her up a little bit and set her in. Not much to it. There's no gaskets or anything. Um, the only other thing I gotta do is I gotta make some gaskets for where the sight glasses go. I do have four good sight glasses, so I got those hidden away right now so they don't get broke. But anyway, that's it. I got one lungers. These are four lungers. That's a three lunger. That's a four. And that's a three and that's a four. I'm not sure what kind that one is. Or that one. But for right now I'm going to concentrate on this one and make one good one out of a pile of parts. So stay tuned. As you see I uh, might as well give you an update on the running gear. I got her fixed up. Got some new tires on it. Got some timbers to go across it. That's going to hold that engine, hopefully. 
So hopefully in the next week or two I'll get that engine set up on here and get that thing inside get going on it. Till then, thanks.